forgot the microphone there. <laughs> Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, a lot of my more popular videos, I have actually uh, been messing with evolutionary games, and they're really fun. Really fun indeed, evolutionary games. You get to see things grow to murder each other, and that's just kind of, kind of a good feeling, you know? But the things need to be able to grow, uh, evolve, and they obviously are going to have to survive somehow because if there's no level of fitness, then you can't evolve. You need to be measured in some way. So I think that they're going, they're, they're also going to have to die because if they're a failure, we got to cut off their gene flow. So there's a lot of ways to do this and uh, I'm going to just get started because why not full... And now we're just gonna make it a little bit stronger and make that go up to the normal. And what normals do is it makes it look bumpy. Look at, oh, yes. Look at how beautiful that looks. <laughs> We've just created like a really nasty slime grass. And I'm very proud of, oh my God. Look, look at that. Great, so now it's gonna, it's gonna grow. And when it grows, it's gonna use more sugar. Right? Fantastic. Very exciting. Uh, now we're just gonna hit play. Oh, see? See? Big fat cell. And it's just growing. Now it's dead because it grew so fast it started using so much. But what we can do is if we get some sugar so that it'll touch the sugar when it grows. So let's just go ahead and do this. Great. So much sugar waiting for the cell. And then once it hits two, it's going to have a baby. Ah, very, very good. <laughs> Looking good. Any second now, it's gonna be gr Oh! What? It just, it just died. <laughs> so if we hit play, we can see that the cell is in fact nomming all the sugar. Fantastic. And now we're going to add a way to add sugar. It's going to be great. I, I'm honestly really confused. Where where the heck is it? <laughs> what is going on? Excuse me. I'm I'm honestly really confused right now. This really shouldn't be that hard to find. Where did they move it to? Oh, I'm stupid. Kids, this is why you don't name things something like camera. I am so dumb. I, I overwrote camera. Oops. Okay. Bam, it's eating. And now we can just give it... Oh, so much sugar. Mm, it's just eating all of it, but is it gonna start going Back in the correct direction it Doesn't seem to really care for eating anymore Why though the witch here, but I'm just gonna do if else and we're gonna do if s equals a, A, A. Wow, there's gonna be a lot. Oh, damn. <laughs> there's, gonna, there's gonna be a lot. Um, I guess the majority of the DNA just won't be functional, which is realistic. Um, we'll start with, we'll start with only A and B. And we'll do bases that are three. So, we'll do... A, 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 else if, A, A, B, and we'll just, having fun, we're kind of just memeing here, this won't actually become any product, but it, it's a good way to learn, um, so here we go, we've got this, right, very nice, so, 
we can actually do stuff with the genetic code now. This will decode when the child is made. And what we have to do here is we have to do cell child dot DNA equals the parent's DNA. So it's going to pass it on. But we're going to make another function. We're going to do public void mutate string DNA. That's going to be string mutate. And this is going to mutate it a little bit and then send it back. So we're going to do... So we can see that this has no DNA um, at all. But we're going to add some sugar to make the cell happy. The sugary cell is a happy cell. It's chasing it down, and it's split, and its child now has a single, single bit of DNA there, not enough to code for anything. But hey, hey, it's something. Doesn't seem to have actually changed the color, which is sad, um, but we'll figure that out. Now that had kids. And now this is BA. So it's going to just continue. And now we have the first children that actually have a full modifier on them. Where are they? Huh. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. Okay, one of them actually took a bit longer, and I'm curious if that's because of the, uh, evolution. So one of the interesting things is, uh, how this works. We are going to... You, you don't know if it's going to add it to the end or, like, in the middle, so it can't actually screw up the codon that's already there you're not guaranteed where in the DNA this is going to show up. But I think what we're going to see is that the, um, obviously faster cells would do a better job at surviving, but the thing, we, we need to make sure that it's not like, we want there to be a slight loss of sugar over time. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what happens now. We're actually just going to leave the amount of sugar that's there. And now we're going to see how it adapts. Because when they die, they're going to drop a little bit of sugar. So they're trying their best to survive. They won't have any noticeable color yet because they haven't gotten enough codons in their DNA. Um, and we could actually genetically engineer our own... Uh, creatures at this point. We can click on them and actually modify their genetic code, uh, which might be interesting. So, as we can see, they are going around, they're surviving, trying their best, and I'm not helping. I am actually just kind of letting them do their thing. Some of them, like these... Oh, I, did they go outside of range? Can they not see the sugar? I think they're out of range. Yeah, they can't see it. It really shouldn't, though. Why is it falling through? Huh. Kind of odd. Okay, so the cells are trying their best, but we're going to start seeing death soon. And we're- oh, purple! Neat, that means that they must have both a blue and a red coat on in there. Very neat. Okay. 
they're just oh that one's very green they're starting to die this is it we will see who survives what is going to be the surviving group who's gonna make it wow that was quite the generation there holy moly now the split rates and stuff are noticeably different at this point they're all having children at different times um, because they all actually have different genetics now unfortunately some of them have put like all of their <laughs> genetic diversity points into changing color which is probably the least useful I uh, like this one is very blue Now the interesting thing is if they get blue enough or whatever, we can actually... Oh, you know what we can do? Okay, I've got a plan. Got a plan. We're gonna do something. We're gonna do something fun today, guys. Ready? I'm going to create... This is the last thing we're gonna do in this um, episode. We're gonna make, give these starter DNA, and I'm going to do it. We're going to make one of them super red and one super blue. So, Bab versus BBB. So now we'll be able to see the generations. Which ones are related to which. <coughs> so we've got the BB. Lots of Bs one. And this one is BAB. Okay, so now when we start it, they should be very colorful. Yeah, okay, fantastic. And now, let's see which one is the most fit. Now, just one genetic change is going to really screw everything up. Um, yep. Wow, the, there's already a green child. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's a very green child as well. Um, the color genes just so easily break into being other genes. Oh my god! Did you see that? That one must have accidentally... Yeah, that one must have converted its genes to just being a super, super fast uh, spawner. That was insane! Holy moly. Yeah, when there's a bunch of bases there to be messed around with and screwed up, crazy things happen. Now, the blue is actually staying kind of the same. <coughs> uh, we can definitely see... Wow. Wow, it actually looks like these reddish-orange ones are having an easier time surviving. Oh, look at the amount of genetic code this one has. Holy moly. That's just a lot. Oh. Oh, there's only one blue left. It had a kid, and the kid is also blue. Oh, they both died. Blue has went extinct. Wow, there's still a red over here, but there's, there's really not much food left. Um... I think this is the end. There's there's a few sad sad ones left over, but it's not looking good. I mean, you can only get so far surviving off of corpses. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna see who survives the longest. There are not many cells left. This one's trying to- oh, it died before it got there. Okay, I'm gonna pause because there's only two left. Pink and purple. So they're actually pretty close. Um, actually, they're siblings. I can tell because look at how similar their genetic code is 
Um, that's it. Who's gonna die first? They'll probably both die at the same time, actually. Purple's growing a little bit faster. Oh, they both died at the same time. That's it. Game's over. See you all next time. Peace out.